Oh my god, that was it. <laughs> no. Need a little break. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be reacting to Interview with Vampire Season 2 Episode 7. Last episode was crazy. There was, I think it was very unexpected for me because I knew something bad was going to happen towards the end, but I just wasn't expecting this. I don't, I think I, I was expecting maybe a fight between the Coven and Armand and Louis, but I didn't anticipate seeing Lestat so soon. I thought he, maybe he would make an appearance towards the very last episode. So this came as a shock and a good one because I like, I like me some Lestat yeah I don't, I don't, this is gonna change everything now and obviously if things are making sense because i think they've been giving us clues especially armand he's been talking about like how remorseful he was how ashamed he was about something he did in the past i thought he was referring to him killing the coven but now i think he was referring to this about betraying louis I mean, we know Louis is alive in the present, so either maybe Armand is going to change his mind, middle of it, he's going to realize, oh, I actually love Louis, I want to fight for him, so maybe he's going to intervene and save him from Lestat, or Lestat is not coming for Louis, but he's coming for Claudia, which makes a lot more sense. He, this, this might be the last time we see Claudia, and... Yeah. Well, this episode, oh, I don't know if I'm ready for this. It's going to be so intense and so dramatic because we have Lestat and he can be a little bit dramatic. He loves his shows and he's going to put a hell of a show. Uh, so, yeah, maybe we're going to see a fight between Lestat and Armand. That's going to be an interesting one. Hmm. Well, and we just stop talking and start reacting yeah just want to give a massive thanks to everybody who's been supporting me on patreon uh, all my new subscribers on youtube and yeah just make sure to like comment subscribe and if you want to see the full length reaction just check out my patreon so this is interview with the vampire season 2 episode 7 let's watch i was being hunted come to me this is the first time we're going to see Lestat on season two without being a hallucination from Louis. I actually missed him. Lestat is such a compelling character. Oh gosh, this is going to be, this is going to be a heck of an episode. I know. I need to breathe, relax, because this is, will give me a lot of anxiety. Oh, it's going to... Is it going to start straight away from where we left off? Episode 14, I could not prevent it. Yeah, Claudia. I just know. Claudia! It's going to be okay! Am I going to cry? I feel, I feel vulnerable. Outnumber? <laughs> Armand sold you I'm out. I'm talking now. Yeah, come on. Have a little bit of respect. This is going to be a very touchy topic for both of them. I heard when the rats found her. What the hell? This is... Oh, no. I could not help I fell in and out of consciousness. Tracks come off. Your character's in a play. Props in a play. My God, this is crazy. This, how are they do? And every actor on stage has scripted lines. Except for them. Except yeah, for us. Because they're the prey this, this time. And if we attempted to speak. We didn't know any laws. The cover members sitting behind us would use their collective powers to disorient our minds. No way. Don't Jaws compressing the skull. It's, they are both trying to kill us. No need to hear from you. We have your words here. In 39. I feel bad for Madeleine because she's gone through so much her whole life and this is how she ends up. Oh no, she doesn't deserve this. Pass it around. 
She had us all fooled. I hate this. I hate this. They crippled you. Ankle tendons slashed to the bone would not heal before the curtain fell. I could feel a presence. Let's start. Fuck. No. A familiar scent. Oh my gosh. We were on trial for murder. I feel like crying. And all I could think was. Oh, he's so good though. He's coming. Shit. He is. Monsieur Lestat de Lioncourt. He's the devil, but I love him. Wow, look at him. I prefer the old place. Shit. Monsieur de Lioncourt, you've returned to Paris because? Justice for the attempted murder of my being. Shit. I don't like this. It's their turn to hurt. He was Whoa. back. Yeah. So, your new boyfriend sold you out to your old boyfriend. <laughs> Love. I can't believe they're doing it's this. It's always been difficult for me. But it suits him so much. My first paramour, Nicolas de Lafont. Fragile mind prone to corruption. Nicky went insane. He died by his own hand. Oh, with a little help from others. Armand. Oh, it stopped my heart. He was as much of a captive as we were. But he's so powerful, he's so strong. You were forced to watch. A painfully close view of the stage. Or what? Yeah. Or they'd kill me. How? Uh, to save your own life, Armand, you screwed over Louis, Claudia, and Madeline. But he spent the whole performance calculating a way to save me. I don't know. It doesn't add up. Maybe it's true. I just don't know what to believe anymore. I disembarked for New Orleans. Who? Did you meet that? Louis. Oh, no. This is bad. I don't like it. Louis de Pointe de I love how they painted him as <laughs> so evil. Let the court record show that the victim pointed to the accused. I didn't point. I merely glanced his way. I'm about to violate the fifth. Keep calm. Carry on. What was the fifth? Do not kill? <laughs> He's going to wants to kill him. The accused was a troubled man. Forced in the corners by his race. Cold, violent. And everywhere I went, there was Louis. His eyes sliding down me. I, a vampire, was being hunted. Nah, I don't believe that. He just beat her. Louis was saying, come to me. <laughs> Those are his words. <laughs> come to me. <laughs> Fuck you. So what, what does Lestat want? Lestat, Lestat, it's your line. Lestat is very emotional. I offered Louis myself, my companionship, an immortal life. The accused raised up his hands and took your face in them with a kiss of acceptance. Yes. Facts! <laughs> Did you say something? Oh. Men embracing men. It disgusts you. I'm pretty sure it disgusts a whole lot of people. I love this. Germans overran your line and three days later you tried to desert but you couldn't read your map and claimed you'd been lost in the fog. I wonder where lies their disgust now. I missed him so much. Louis was fixated on the loss of his humanity. And he also rejected you. There was a night when he told me I'd be alone forever. I hate this. Like, I get what he's trying to do, but come on, you were no sane, Lestat. This is all I made. You want to crawl up and die, don't you? And he threatened me with this lonely. Shame on you! You abandoned me in our town. I didn't know if he was ever going to come back. Oh, shut up, Lestat. He's so dramatic. But he came back. He did. With her. Good luck on how that fucker didn't ask. I told Louis, 14 forever. She'd be a cripple. 
Oh, this episode is gonna break me. She's dying because of me. They lit her building on fire because of me. Make her like us. Please, I can't ever die. The gift cannot be given to children. But he was in a terrible panic. You know he can do it. And so be what? A lap dog. Daughter. A daughter? I'll stay. I'll never leave you. Ever again. I promise. But there was a light in his eyes. A light I'd not seen for years. But I resisted. Because I knew the wisdom of the great laws. I was shot hard. <laughs> Let's die. He didn't really resist. To what's up? She will be at war with herself every day of her life. I don't care. Well, you must care. Her mind and her spirit will age, but the world will treat her as she is now. Of honor and fire. And she will be miserable, and it will spiral beyond your reach. Oh, so he did touch, he did warn him. And you have to drain her first, Louis. She asked if I was an angel. I can't believe. You know, they're both emotional, but in different ways. It's not how it happened. Maybe it is how it happened, and he just doesn't want to remember it that way. So he created a different version of the events. It is how it happened. I didn't think it at the time. Yeah, he knew the consequences, and he still did it. A beautiful little daughter. I'll do anything. God, this looks so bad. Please, please, please. Oh, Louis. Louis is just a broken soul. You will regret this for the rest of your life. Can't really defend anyone here. <laughs> it's like I want to take sides, but I don't think there are sides to take. I made her for Louis. I broke the second law. When you sentence them for their crimes, you sentence me too. It's all lies, right? Trial. Yeah, it's a hot lie. It isn't. He didn't tell me what you would be. Oh my God, he's here. He's seeing him again. Play down my role in it. Mm. Claudia was an unforeseen joy, a consummate killer. We were a happy trio. But Claudia's defect caught up with her. Claudia's moods worsened with a killing spree, corpses clogging the bayou. She put yours and Louis' anonymity at risk. Then she ran away. And Louis, he blamed himself. Yeah. If your companion no longer wishes to share his body with you for seven years, years you still hope that that he'll love you like you love him do you find affection elsewhere yes. hmm. right let's start later the vampire antoinette of course they're gonna make her a victim as well seven long years and claudia returned I see the best of my vampiric self in her. And then she turned to Louis and said, Abandon the start. Come with me to Europe. <laughs> you and Louis fought. At first, we just slammed each other around. Slammed each other? I'm trying to restrain myself, Louis! Stop! <laughs> oh, no way. Oh my god. You start it, you finish it, it will end in your death. No way, it was the other way around. Don't tell me Louis is the toxic one because I. Stay back, Claudia! I can't. It's all good. You're leaving with her? I don't know. No, it's okay. You're gonna leave me. <laughs> I'm gonna take this hand here, wrap it around that scrawny neck of yours. I ain't gonna stop. Until your eyes pop. Ooh. I don't know if this is actually what happened. <laughs> and this is how we know the rest of the story. Is this true? I'm burdened with my maker's temper. <laughs> no. You you were teased. He tried to kill him. Oh, did he? I hate this guy. You flew the accused and you let him fall. Two kilometers, approximately. For a vampire, it's a hard fall. Nothing more. I mean, it's clear what they want to do. Come on. You knew Louis would be no. fine. Press that. Come on, they're both to blame now. In this story, there's no... Everybody has a little bit to... No! Come on, get it right. They want to get away with it, but... Come on, Santiago. It's not your story. So fuck off. He wasn't fine. Hmm. 
misunderstanding. It wasn't an accident. I let go of him. He let him go. I watched him clutch the air, swinging wild as he fell through the clouds. The start went off script yep. again. I did it to hurt him, and it did hurt him. And afterwards, he was a broken thing. Yeah. I know, because I am the one who broke him. At least he's taking some accountability, you know. Oh, let's die. I couldn't persuade him to return my affections. Exactly. Like, after that, he took it a bit too far. What is worse than that? Crushing what you cannot own. I heard the only one. Doing it again. Oh, let's start. I thought of this often in the coffin. Oh, this story is so messed up. I will always be sorry for what I did to you. It's too fucking late. And come on, Claudia, stop talking for Louis. So why don't you just come and tell him that instead of doing this whole dramatic play? Continue. It moved Claudia. You dropped him. He's fine now. You apologize. All is forgiven. We poisoned him. A confession! He's not dead! Can I cry and say that I'm sorry to Exactly. You gotta accept my apology. Claudia, stop. Claudia. <laughs> oh, whoopsie daisy. Oh, I freaking hate Santiago. I can't. I don't know why I bother. You didn't come here for me. Mm, he came for Louis. One more round in the stormy romance of you two! That is true. I think Claudia was used, and I think she's got every right to be upset and to demand... Are we on trial? It's not a trial. It's a stoning. Yeah. The start would have his vengeance. But... I'm waiting for the but... The vampire Madeline, what is her crime? Yeah. It is only fair that she be offered the same choice as any vampire. She must join or die. Die! It's her choice. <laughs> the choice is yours. I feel so... She shouldn't be in this position. Yeah, join. I think she's not going to join, though. My immortal companion is Claudia. My coven is Claudia. Guilty or not guilty? Guilty! I hate this. What is your sentence? Yeah! The vampire Claudia rise. She's got a lot of crimes. And the sentence. Yeah! May I ask the court for a final request? Let her have it. Ooh. If there is an afterlife, I'm going to come back and fucking kill all of you. <laughs> I love her. What say you? For the vampire, Louis. That's the one he's. Du lac. He hates him. He hates his gods. And it's not gonna go your way, Santiago. <laughs> fire, come on. I wanna see the fire. And the center. <laughs> that's. That's Lestat. Either Lestat or Armand. Or both. This is how he gets away with it. You saved Louie. Yes. But not her. Yeah. He did that intentionally. I could not prevent it. Send him to Belgium. Take him downstairs. No, 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 Louie! This is so hard to watch. I fought back. I wasn't. They took me to their, their crypt. What was that, Louis? I can't see how you. I want to kill them all. Banished to a two by seven foot box to starve to death. And while that's going on, she's upstairs on stage. Ask him. I wasn't there. I can't trust whatever he says. And now for your viewing pleasure. Defiant. Scared. Whispering last words to one another. I want to kill Santiago, I can't. Oh no. 
Claudia smiled and started singing to her executioners. And Madeline succumbed first. The last thing she saw on earth was him. <sighs> oh my god. Oh my god, that was it. No. Oh. Okay. Need a little break. Oh my god, this was such a painful episode to watch. Still not recovered from it. Mm, I don't know, it just... Uh, just Claudia, I get so attached to certain characters and obviously like... I know some people don't like her because they feel like she's more toxic than Lestat. She's here for herself and... I don't know, it just... The thing is, you have to understand, she didn't ask for any of this. She didn't ask to become a vampire. And it, it wasn't just Louis. It's his fault that, like, I think she turned out like this, but it was all less that. Like, they, these characters need to take accountability. And, like, people who, like, see them, they need to know, like, Claudia is as much as a victim as Louis. And less that, in a way. Like, there's no right and wrong. Like, there's no, there's not a fully black or white um view of these characters like they all have they've all done bad things they've all done good things and i don't know i felt like claudia started to like she finally reached the point where she just became independent she started to find her own happiness and she didn't rely on louis anymore and just when she finally found that happiness that shoulder that companion to to rely on and to be happy with that's when like things went to shit and yeah i don't know i, I really like claudia from the first season and obviously having a different actress was a bit of an adjustment but i started to see this other claudia and it actually worked just because it wasn't the same character that we saw in the first season and you know what i was very happy with that and yeah i don't know part of me was just like i always i knew this was coming i knew she was gonna die but part of me thought like maybe she survived maybe she's just she didn't want to speak to louis anymore and that's why we don't see any of that any of her but yeah i mean uh, this was very very painful to watch oh even now i'm still i'm still trying to well uh, well, that happened, so I guess there's nothing we can do about it. We're not going to see Claudia anymore. And yeah, that breaks my heart. Especially for another... <clears throat> Sorry, oh my god. Another character that I feel really bad for is Madeline. Because she she has such a... She had such a tragic backstory. And it seemed like finally something good happened in her life. But then that didn't work out either like she barely lived as a vampire um but like she decided to end it because of the love she felt for claudia she's so she's such a loyal character even though we didn't get to see much of her it would have been nice to i don't know explore that character a little bit more Oh, and Louis, 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 I don't know what I'm going to do with this boy because I think Claudia was right all along about Louis. I don't know. He's just a broken character. He's just a broken person, a broken vampire. And I don't know if he's ever going to heal completely from everything that's happened to him. And I, there's just so many layers to that character. I, I don't know. I don't know who to believe. The version that he believes he is, the version that Lestat sees, or the version that Claudia sees, or the version that Armand sees, or maybe a little bit. I think he's a mixture of everything and he lies right in, 
in between all of these versions yeah i think i think the next episode i think i'm gonna cry again because just seeing louis react to how once he knows i don't know if he's gonna be aware of what's happening inside the inside the is it a tomb <laughs> i don't know but you know what i have another theory i have a feeling maybe armand's not the one who saved him but lestat and armand took credit for that this is what i'm i don't know i'm sensing because no one no one tells the truth here and everybody is here for themselves he did he probably felt guilty about the whole situation and said you know what lestat took him out and probably Lestat saved him and just left because he knew Louis wouldn't wouldn't want to hear it. Like, come on, like you are the reason that Claudia is dead. So I don't know, this is just speculation as well. I'm heartbroken! Oh, and this episode, this last episode is gonna be tragic as well. I just know. Oh, what a story. What a story. Well, I hope you enjoyed my reaction and my ugly crying. And yeah, I'm a bit speechless, to be honest. Make sure, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And if you want to see the full length reaction, please check out my Patreon. I will see you in the finale. Bye.